Hello everyone, Wolfie here back with another Hero Basics video where I take a hero from Gigantic and tell you exactly what their abilities do at level 1. No upgrades, no talents, nothing special. This time we have Vadasi, the Angel of Judgment. Vadasi is a ranged support hero with the tags healer. So she's, I mean honestly that perfectly describes her because she's got a lot of healing and she's really good at it. She definitely is the definitive heal bot along among the cast and it's not a difficult kit to grasp at a glance there's a little bit of nuance especially with resource management with her e uh, but we'll get to that firstly let's go over her stats vadasi has 2050 health as well as 25 armor so do not let her do not let her live uh feminine frame fool you she's actually got quite a good health pool and she is very defensive we're actually going to start with Vadasi's E because this is her resource management. Her E is called Devotion. Hold down to charge up to three orbs. So the orbs are spinning around your head and once they're charged, they turn from blue to yellow. Each charge orb gives you 100% healing and 100% damage for three seconds. I, I want to I wanna clarify really quick. This is not per orb. It, it increases the each orb that's summoned will increase the duration of the bonuses. It's not 300% and 300%. It's just 100% for longer. Uh, but the cost is that you are consuming your own health to gain these benefits. If you consume only one orb, it is 400 of your health for three and a half seconds. If you consume two, then it's an additional 150, but it increases it to six and a half. And if you, if you charge all three, you are dealt 100 more damage to yourself and then increases the duration to almost 10 seconds it looks like this so you can really just quickly tap it and you'll do that 400 damage and then the orb will turn yellow and then it turns back to blue once it's been depleted or if you hold down all three you'll charge all three and you'll have that nine second buff and you'll know when the timer's almost out because the orbs will turn back to blue over the course of the duration you'll see how kind of how long you have basically Basically, you start nine seconds, and then once an orb is down, it's every three seconds. So when you're on that final orb, you know that you have around three seconds left. So this is a this is kind of the this is where the skill the skill ceiling and floor is kind of this is where the skill of playing Vadasi comes from. You have to really know how to use this properly because you are you are doing a ton of damage to yourself if you summon all three. Like that is that's six hundred and fifty damage. Out of, a, out of a health pool that is only around 2,000. You got to really be careful if you want to play Vadasi properly. Now we can go back to her LMB, which is called Ray of Light. Holding down a beam of light that attaches to an ally, and that ally is healed for 75 health for, uh, per second so long as you're holding the beam. With your empowered healing, if you use an orb, uh, basically you use the orb and it increases the healing to 150 because it's double... Um, and it just it just kind of looks like this. So if I if I go over here to this Motiga, I'm gonna wait for him to take a little bit of damage. And then I am doing 75 healing every single tick. And you you just so long as you hold it, like you're doing that healing essentially. And this is a pretty far range. Like the the attach the attach and, and the break of the tether is uh, around the same roughly. But you can see even from here I can do that healing. And uh Again, with using orbs, it'll it'll increase the healing duration, or not the uh, it'll increase the healing potency by 100% while you have any orb that is lit up. So just to show that, I'm gonna light all three, and just so you'd see how much that healing increased. Now, for some reason, this ability description reads as though you consume an orb while you're doing so. It, it this doesn't actually. This doesn't actually do that. I, I don't know why it says I, I don't know why it says this, because this isn't how this this doesn't actually do anything. Um because you can just have a total of nine seconds of that empowered healing. Like you're not you're not depleting your orbs faster by having empowered heals. Even though it sometimes it may look like it is. Like you definitely still have nine seconds worth of that increased healing. And it's just it's a huge damn uh, a huge healing increase. And you can also like have this, you you can have this like be diverted to uh, multiple allies, just really rapidly. Like you can do this and then switch, 
and then switch back. And you don't even you don't even have to hold it the whole time. Like if you if you let go and then just kind of alternate the attacks. I'm going to wait for those to come back and then I'll show this. Like when they start taking damage, you can just literally just tap LMB and then like switch back and forth and just do that healing because it's going to tick. It's going to tick healing every single time. So watch, I'm going to charge all three orbs and then boom, 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 boom. Like you can just you can just do that to uh <laughs> to, to heal a lot of uh, allies at once. Just keep in mind though, it's because it's a beam, it's going to lock on like whoever's generally closest to your crosshair. So targeting people, targeting allies that are kind of close together is going to be a little bit harder. But that's uh that's kind of part of the learning experience. Now on to Vadasi's right mouse button, which is called Smite. It is also a beam. Uh, but it's a beam that deals damage. It deals a small amount of damage uh, at very rapid intervals. So 13 damage, basically per tick. Uh, and then if you have your empowered orbs, kind of, yet again, just increasing the damage by 100%. But the empowered smite also applies a burn. The burn is 40 damage per second. It lasts for 3 seconds. And yet again, this final tick here you don't really you, you you can ignore this this doesn't actually happen you're not consuming orbs the longer you hold because the orbs will just diminish over time but it looks like this so if i summon this you can see i'm taking damage and then occasionally there are bigger bursts of damage because of that burn and then you're you're basically refreshing the burn very rapidly because you're uh because because it's sourced from this ability so just basically every single tick will re-trigger that burn. But as you can see, I don't have any empowered orbs. It's doing way less damage. Like, you'll eventually kill someone with this, but it's definitely more noticeably powerful if you have orbs. Alright, Vadasi's last basic ability is her Q, which is called Divine Wind. Heal herself for 40 healing per second for 3 seconds. If you're empowered... You heal yourself for 80 healing per second for three seconds. So again, just like this says, 100% bonus healing. It's it's just doubled. However, this final pull up point you do have to consider. This will actually consume one of your charged orbs and reduce the du total duration of of your um of your E by three seconds. So if you summon all three orbs and I use Q, you can see that one orb went away right away. So this is uh, this is another thing where you're kind of having to manage when you want to use certain abilities, when you want to keep your orbs, keeping yourself alive and keeping your allies alive at the same time. It's it's just a lot of trial and error with Vadasi, but uh, it, you can tell that she's just got a ton of healing and, and she's kind of really good at keeping everyone alive. One more thing before I get into her focus, uh, I probably should have mentioned a while ago, Devotion, her E actually cannot kill herself you can't go below zero using your e it'll just leave you at one health so don't worry about um accidentally knocking yourself out if you uh if you use it while you're at low health but finally vadasi's focus is called sanctum of faith boost yourself increasing your armor to 90 and gaining 25 bonus healing the duration increases with each rank of focus starting at four seconds then six seconds at rank two and eight seconds at rank three so it's very selfish, very easy to understand ult that just sort of increases her survivability with a slight bonus to healing as well. Uh, and this will, this this damage reduction is significant because it temporarily passes the armor cap and kind of sets your armor to 90. So it's essentially 90% damage reduction, and that includes front and back armor. So even even things like degens except for bleed because bleed ignores armor but for the for the most part degens will completely be dramatically reduced as well because degens are effective on back armor and since all of your armor is now 90 it's just a it's a massive increase to survivability but it looks like this you can't really you can't really tell you won't really see anything happen aside from a brief glow and like those shields appearing but those shields also are the same exact animation for gaining armor anyway it's more about the vocal effects and then see yeah the 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 sound effect of her saying her focus line and then the brief uh 
visual of using the focus entirely, that big gold glow. And you'll realize when you're not doing any damage to Vidasi, then probably she's used her focus very recently. <laughs> It's it's very simple to understand. It's just all about keeping yourself alive. When you get jumped on, you want to use your focus. And the extra healing benefit is nice, but that's kind of negligible in the long run because she already does so much. But that is it for Vadasi. She's she's very simple to understand conceptually. I think the I think the big learning curve with her is just use, knowing how to use your your orb management. Because if you just if you just keep holding down the ability every time that you have it, you're really gonna have no health for any of the combats that you're doing, and you're just making yourself a sitting duck. Even with 25 armor and a pretty massive health pool, like you you don't want to just be constantly summoning those orbs and not thinking about the fact that you have no mobility and you're just gonna be hurting yourself the whole time. But if you guys enjoyed watching, make sure you like the video. Also share with your friends, subscribe to the channel, all that stuff. I do appreciate you guys watching. So have a good day and I will see you guys in the next one.